Hello everybody, welcome to SummerSlam. I'm Jimmy Ventura in the booth with me is Rick Shavani and Fimir. Hello. Hello everybody. Hello GFW Universe. Are you ready for the biggest party of the summer? Summer Slam here. In the Darlington Central Ceremonial, we have a massive crowd and 100,000 people watching it live, but we also have you watching it from your houses. <laughs> oh, baby, it's the second biggest show of the year. It's the showcase of the immortal, slightly uglier sister. It's the show we've all been waiting for, Stopgap. It's SummerSlam, baby. Woo! The following contest hmm. is scheduled for one fall. And it's for... What a beginning with the Dover Championship. Yeah, what an it's... epic fight we have here. Who's going to take on Dave? It's a night of surprises. There's going to be a lot of fights we don't know. <laughs> who's going to be there? Oh my god! Whoa! It's Look at the horns, baby! <laughs> it's it's oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What a beginning! Volk Favor! finally becoming the beastman. He always wanted to be, for some reason, <laughs> and now he's here. Look how happy he is being his true self. Uh, I realize now that Giant Gonzalez all those years ago was also trying to become a figure. Um, <laughs> and here we are. Volt's actually done it. And will we see some incredible power from him as a result today? Let's hope so. <laughs> Man, what an interest, what a happiness. What a beginning for this party of the summer here for all our viewers all over the world. <laughs> and now they, damn Dave, they going to have to face this new, brand new, all new, all different Volkfagor. <laughs> no, Bessel, he's, he's actually from Germany now. <laughs> As Wanger says, there it is. There you go, damn Dave. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a surprising champion. wasn't wasn't really expecting Dave to to pick up the win the other week, but he did so in style, and uh, and yeah, got a got a real chance tonight to etch his name in the immortal Wemdo champion that we've had. Um, if he could pick up the win against Volk. Well, it's yes. time to see. If all that money invested in uh, the metamorphosis of Volk Fagor as uh, for something because he is facing another monster. Damn day. <laughs> You'd think he'd beat Volkayo, but will he be able to beat Volk Fagor? That's the thing. Exactly. <laughs> this is like a Dragon Ball uh, CD. You know, everybody evolutions here. <laughs> Except some people involution, but that's another story. <laughs> yeah, they may take your soul, but the Chaos Gods sure like to give power. And yeah, I'd be a little, more than a little worried if I was Damn Dave staring across the ring right now at whatever this has become. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, but as you imagine being in the other side and being having to face Damn Dave. I mean, that's not an <laughs> easy job either. <laughs> it's true. I think the worst, the one that has it the worst, is the referee because the referee has to look at both of them. <laughs> yep. There you go, Dan Dave giving away the belt. There it is in all its glory. Any man or beast in his sane mind would give everything he's got to get his hands on that beauty. <laughs> but to be able to do that, first they need to get their hands on each other. And Dave going straight for it. Yeah, off to a great start. And uh, even, even beastmen are only armor eight, right? Uh, they're, they're, they're not exactly dwarves or death rollers or anything ridiculous. So. Uh, you got to certainly give Dave a decent chance as the champion, proving his worth in recent weeks. Oh, but Borfagor is coming back. And that rage from the Chaos Gods. 
Nice leg da drag takedown there from Dave and uh, hits him on the way up. Hitting him in the horns. I don't know how wise that is. <laughs> Questionable who'd come off the worst. <laughs> They're very aggressive in the horns. You know, maybe they fall off. Yeah, who knows? He's I mean, only has he really made a pact with the Chaos Gods or he's just a cosplayer? <laughs> That's the question we're going to answer tonight here. Well, I, Certainly I some, uh, some massive power from Volt throwing Dave across the ring. Um, he does seem still susceptible to some pain, though. He doesn't seem pain immune, but definitely got some extra strength going on. Yeah, I, I believe it's all been medical operations by uh, Ripper Doc, you know, the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll choose the Chaos Ghost before that, you know, the, even Cthulhu, the, the, the old ones, I mean. Yeah, I think most people would. <laughs> there you go, the masterpiece of uh, Ripper Dog in the ring, Summer Slam, opening fight. Oh, glorious one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, flipped him beautifully for a power slam there. Again, the, the power. And uh, Volk has definitely got himself on top now, becoming somewhat dominant in this match. Dave needs to find something. Does. There you go, Volk. More or less in control now Ooh. in the Darlington Arena, which, by the way, Tom Jones was here, uh, I think, yesterday. <laughs> and that's not even a joke. When I look around, you know, the name of the arenas in Darlington, Tom Jones was coming to... Darlington. Hey, it's not unusual. A few more ladies in the audience will be pregnant then than normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh, the horns! The horns to the jaw of Dave! He's in trouble oh, now! Oh my god! He's, he's in trouble now! That could be it! Oh. Dave's That's tough. nearly Dave having to eat soup for the rest of his life. <laughs> he might lose his one oh, last tooth. Oh, there you go! There you Stomp go! In the oh, hoop. Okay. Oh, 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 of course! Too confident from Volk. We've seen many a, a wrestler of the superstar of the JFW make that mistake. <laughs> Dave back on top. <laughs> oh, wow. But Dave is still uh, showing a massive uh, strength there. Oof. And none of the contenders, uh, none of the wrestlers seems uh, particularly tired. You know, they've been training really, really hard. High endurance level here. Now Vork a little lace it. Oh, the big deal oh, slam! Oh, the sidewalk slam! It's over! Oh. That's how he won it! Oh, no! No! That's it. That's the power of Vork Fagor. <laughs> wow. That, that is resilience that we have never before seen in Volk. He has definitely taken it to the next level. But look at the exhaustion in the corner. Oh, boy. Or is he getting ready? Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, the horns to the head! <laughs> Is Dave even still alive? <laughs> Dave! <laughs> Dave suffering here. He's in the receiving end. Uh oh. Oh, Borg. I think we've got a new champion. i got a feeling this oh. is it. Oh, oh massive it movement there. What a suplex there are now. It could be. Is this it? One, One two, two. Three and that's it! Work for finally achieves the glory of a title in the GFW. <laughs> wow. I, I think we might have a very long reigning Wemdope champion here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I really can't see anybody taking it off folk for a glorious. very long time if he puts no, in I these kind of performances. Until no, like very victorious. Impressive. A and tragedy for end. Dave. I lived it end. <laughs> but there you go. Very impressive from Volk. <laughs> Volk gifted All right. his soup to Dave. Oh, <laughs> gifted uh, the other one soup. <laughs> Glorious. What a performance by Volk Favor here. It was all worth it. It was everything was for a good reason. Well. <laughs> Hulk, of course, has a, a chalice match tomorrow, but this is the big one that he's been thinking about. That, that'll yes. pale in comparison, regardless of the result, compared to how he feels tonight. Exactly, exactly. What a way to go, you know, to start Summer Islam with a new champion. Hmm. And he can be counted blessed because if he didn't win tonight, 
probably his future was, you know, to be a male go-go for a heavy metal band or something like that. <laughs> but he won. <laughs> so, yeah, he can be under the spotlight. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, now we've got Plim Plum Pluserweight, hot Plim Plum Pluserweight champion, action, the bread mask, ho, 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 taking on the champ, Muppet. Well, we've got a few really dominant champions in the JFW and uh, a really strong stake to the claim of the most dominant would be Muppet Pacman. Not only um, can he beat anybody in the Plim Plum uh roster, he's shown he can beat anybody in the JFW roster. He is just a phenomenal athlete and a phenomenal wrestler. Exactly. He's doing absolutely. But the bread mass has been training really, really hard for this, you know. He's getting absolutely toasted for this... Uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, match here. Yeah. And uh, for those that don't speak French, you know, his name means the mask of bread, you know, for all the British uh, population that doesn't speak oh. many languages, you know, <laughs> that's the secret meaning of the name of the Liberal Mask. <laughs> <laughs> wow, th I appreciate you uh, you telling me for me. I am quite ignorant to my, my uh, multilingual skills are virtually non-existent. That's, that's, uh, that's fascinating for sure. Yeah, he says he's going to make marmalade of um, Muppet Patman tonight. So <laughs> let's see what he can do. Tough order for sure. But maybe we'll get two new champions in a row. Muppet has been also the chance of the match because Muppet has been distracted because he is expecting his dad to be maybe <laughs> watching him finally. You know, I'm finally coming back home after he left for uh, buying a, uh, some milk and a, and a package of packs 25 years ago, when he was four years old. Now he's a 29-year-old Blue Bowl coach and the Plim Plum champion. <laughs> yeah. Truly, truly uh, a tear-jerking rags to riches story there. And, uh, and he says that he's far too pale for the bread mask to make toast out of him, so... So let's see what Muppet's got in store. How many 619s in chat, ladies and gentlemen? Let us know. Oh, no, I didn't change the title in game. Oh, no. Just realized. I'm still in Storybook Raw. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, Blim Blim Blue Champion. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 190 pounds. Here we go. There you go, Lebrel Mask, absolutely ready, absolutely ready for recovering what he thinks is his own title. Weighing in at 138 pounds, he is the Cruiserweight Champion. <laughs> well, <laughs> that belt is, you know, bigger than a Muppet's dreams. <laughs> One thing's for sure, with the athleticism of these two men, this match will go a long way. It'll be at least 29 seconds long, I reckon. <laughs> yep. Okay, here we go. Starting here. The bread mask with a significant size advantage, right? Even though they're both plim plum plus away, it's Muppet is tiny. He is one of the uh, the smallest yeah. wrestlers on the roster, di you know, in l light of uh, whatever category that is. But he's proven, really, that he, he does better. The, the more weight he gives away, he's absolutely the master of using his opponent's strength Glorious. against them. No, uh, clearly, clearly uh, Muppet has no body fat and at all. He's on power and I ribs. <laughs> power and ribs. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Boozy, for the prime so glorious. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Now, the red mask. Oh, so in dominance there. <laughs> what a move. Yeah, Muppet's used to being out strength, but he's not too used to being as matched for his uh, agility and athleticism as he is here. The bread mask has almost as many tricks in his book as, uh, as Muppet does. Absolutely. Oh, oh God, look at this. Oh, one. my God. What a move wow. by Muppet. Throw right in. onto the concrete from seven feet up on the ring apron there. That is going to do damage to the back of the bread mask and maybe 
limit the amount of high flying maneuvers he can do for the rest of this. Well, that was impressive, wasn't it? Oh, Lorette trying to get a very quick ping, but not working. This is going to be a long fight. Oh my goodness, Muppet straight up though. Both of them popping up from uh, from damage they've foreseeably taken. But uh, yeah, they're, they're really, really showing their determination in this one so far. Oh, Lorette Mask in control now. And now... Oh... Oh, what a <laughs> counter by Muppet. Muppet always finds a way out. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's the absolute master of the reversal, but he celebrates too early. We saw that in the last match. And we oh, see it again he is here. Looking into the audience, looking for that. <laughs> And now Lebred Mask taking advantage. The Bread Mask definitely been on top for the most part of this match so far, other than that massive uh, flipping power bomb to the outside from Muppet. The Bread Mask with nearly all the offense. Yeah, been very impressive. All oh, the self rock bottom. But what does he get? What is it? Oh, How is he going to pull the Bread Mask? Enjoying, enjoying this moment, this moment of glory. Finally, here we go. His chance to take go. back his title. Now, Muppet is struggling there. Oh, <laughs> oh, brutal. Oh, Muppet's out cold. That could be it. Can he, he can't make the cover. He's too tired. It hurt him as well. <laughs> He's doing it again. Oh my God. He's doing it again. He knows, he knows Muppet is really, really tough, so he's going to be 100% sure. Oh, oh what an oh. elbow. Oh, but, oh, again, the exhaustion and the pain getting to the bread mask, preventing him from making that quick cover that surely would have went really, really out of it. Goodness me. He's putting everything on the line here, isn't he? He knows he's got to do something special to get yes. rid of He's very fast-paced so far. Oh, nice. Oh, the school of it. One. No, not even two. Wow. Whatever <laughs> the mask must be thinking what he needs to do to take down this man. Starting to wonder if so. Oh. It's up with the bread mask here and he's busted open. Uh oh. And now, 619 out of nowhere. <laughs> Seis, uno, nueve. <laughs> Is he going to cover? He has to go and no. He wants to punish, there you go, there you go, looking for that. <laughs> Celebration before the pin, uh, that might be the the wrong way around there, Muppet. Exactly, yeah, we'll exactly. Now out. look at his face, the despair. <laughs> I think it was coming, but he's turning back now, Muppet. <laughs> oh, lovely, oh. hold on for the pin. The bread mask has some really nice technical pins from the, his, uh, his maneuvers. And again, going to the top rope. Ooh. Flying, Muppet, recovered. <laughs> oh, God. oh, my goodness. What a dodge. What a dodge. If, if Muppet lands this, he can have it. Amazing oh. reversal from Muppet. Oh, oh, oh no. Counter after counter. <laughs> Just in the ribs. One of the few things that Muppet has. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. oh. Oh my god, what a fight, what a story, what a tale. Oh, Suicide Lebron Mask is going to jump, he's going to jump, he's going to do it. Boy, That's man. it, if he dies, he dies. Oh, 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 Muppet. Oh, he's, he's got to be in a terrible way now. How on earth can Muppet come back from that? Absolutely brutal. How the fans chanted, games. this is awesome. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, loving it. Clearly, this is also one of the best performances we have seen from these two wrestlers. Oh dear. This looks like he's getting to do some not wrestling things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the bread mask not got a lot left in the tank now. He's uh, reduced to, to mostly um, offensive hits and strikes there. Oh, well, I still managed to do so many of us, but yes, maybe 
Yeah, it's going to the pants here, flying kick. Yeah, absolutely exhausted, absolutely done. Still, getting ready, getting pumped up. Is he going to try it again? Oh boy. Oh, high risk, high reward. Oh, front oh, slash. Yes. Oh, GG. Oh, yes, this could be. Come on, straight away. One, One two, two, three. three. And that's it. Lebre de Mans. Le Plim Bam Blue. Oh, Mape. Je suis de Sole. But the champion, Plim Bam champion, is the original Plim Bam Blue. Le Bre de Mask. Oui, oui, oui. <laughs> Great performance from LeBret Mask. I was a little worried about his conditioning. He was out of breath quite a bit in the middle, but he managed enough reversals and hitting uh, that I high mean, top rope maneuver at the end to get the finish. He's wearing a mask full of breath, so yeah, I think uh, breathing could be a problem, <laughs> but you know, those extra carbs chomping the bread while he fights obviously give uh, him the extra power I, and i heard he was gluten intolerant as well but he's, he's overcome all of that and we have a second new champion of the night already this pay-per-view is on fire baby okay. nobody yeah. safe here Unbelievable. i remember this is a true non-scripted non-organized event what you've seen is what we're seeing here yep <laughs> right, well now. oh and now we have the fight that we all wanted to see when we were teenagers <laughs> sheila versus mrs wanger extreme rules no oh, baby be the extreme. mind of CBT versus the power of the bus drivers of Downington. <laughs> and here comes Sheila. Yeah, this has been building for a while. They've both been heavily involved in the tag team division as managers and support of their fellow uh, tag team friends. But now they've broken away into their own singles competition and they both gonna show tonight who is the first lady of the JFW. Oh yes, oh yes, and let's not forget that Mrs. Wanger ambushed Sheila a few weeks ago. So now there is, you know, there is a lot of uh, pain that needs to be sent back to the bus. <laughs> yeah. But Sheila, we know she's a fantastic manager, coach. You know, and a tactician, but when it comes to raw power, Mrs. Wanger has caused an impact that I've never seen before in the GFW. It doesn't matter which gender or kind of life form they were. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's also ready for the summer. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> this is like going back to the 80s. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Clearly tonight, women's rights are taking the back seat <laughs> just for the sheer violence of it. <laughs> I can't complain, I, do, I like what I'm watching here. <laughs> well, it looks like she said whatever Sheila can do, Mrs. Wangi can do better. Yes. That clearly was taken to a whole new level. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, uh, Mrs. Wanger, fresh from her uh, fight versus uh, Teresa May Monday. Oh, this is going to be brutal. This is like a couple of psychopaths <laughs> in a theme park. <laughs> Good start by Sheila. Couple of strikes and then the side Russian leg sweep getting on top of this match. Mrs. Wanger catches the kick though. <laughs> uh, going for it, Mrs. Wanger. Very technical and it seems extremely powerful. Nice dodge though yeah. from Sheila. Oh. oh, great dodge. And now Mrs. Wanger hitting. Oh. <laughs> Fast pace, both uh, showing some oh, good technical ability. Breaker. One kick to the chops. <laughs> I don't oh, know what you mean, oh, what a counter! Yeah. 
Yeah, doubly Jesus. impressive. <laughs> These two <laughs> women were willing to fight. They were dying to do it. Oh my god, what a kick to the back of the neck. <laughs> Hell has no fury like a woman is scorned, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh. oh! Oh God! Oh my man. God! <laughs> Brutal head hunting, isn't she, Sheila? Here. Yes. She so needs to adapt the CBT tactics to a female uh, <laughs> contender, and obviously going for the head. <laughs> We've seen them distract the referee before in tag team competition for their uh, for their oh, partners. I think the ref's pretty distracted flex. today. <laughs> Mrs. Wanger in trouble here. She yeah. needs to react very quickly. Yeah, it's all Sheila so far. Only no. the one count though. Oh, let us forget that the. The Glorious Ones and CBT will see each other later in the tag team uh, match for the title. Neck breaker from Mrs. Wanga there. She's definitely turned this around for now. Oh, go for a big middle rope DDT and it's there. Oh, it lands. Sheila's in trouble here. One, two, no. Got a lot more to give. Ref didn't really know what was going on there, did he? He didn't know, he didn't know where to look. Oh, look at this, super. Oh, there you go, another superlex. And there you go, Mrs. Wanger celebrating. Getting the love of the fans. She's uh, fighting on, his, uh, on her hometown of Darlington. Probably drive the boost that took most of the people here. Oh, massive running for him in the corner. This could get it. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Sheila really has some resilience. She must have been training hard for this one. Uh oh, maybe not oh, hard enough though. Oh, is this it? Is this the terminus? Yes. Oh. End of line. End of line. <laughs> Absolutely brutal move. That's it. And there wow. you go. Mrs. Wanger managed to achieve the victory here in the first pay-per-view match among women in the GFW. Shows how devastating her finishing maneuver is. Uh, went from a one count to, to finishing Sheila completely there. Yep, very impressive, the Terminus. <laughs> oh, the Wangers! <laughs> oh, there you go, up the Wangers. <laughs> and now, yeah, Sheila needs to go back to the round board. She's not used to this. Yes. And now we have one of the main fights of the night, the Two Heads Championship TLC Tag Team Match. Dresses oh, yeah. for Business, the Glorious Ones and CBT will face each other in an absolute bella match for the titles. Yep. Yeah, this is absolutely huge, isn't it? Um, it it's just got a little bit of everything. And here is Team Glorious coming out first. Controversially in this match, due to, to Jim McMahon. And, and what is there left to say about Jimmy Fantastic, really? He's just got a way of getting into these big matches. He's a, he's a one time losing CCL finalist, he's a two time losing BBSL finalist. And uh, will, he, will he find a way to lose tonight? Let's find out. Thanks, well, what, thanks I know, that, <laughs> what I know about that is the longer the match uh, lasts, the more chances Jimmy has to win. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to survive the first five minutes. <laughs> and then it's done. So that's it. Uh, Wanger can help with that. Uh, help with that. And there you go. Coming to the ring. Being the first to come to the ring. Absolutely confidence. No problem at all. Yeah, there you go. You don't forget. This is absolutely the hometown of Jimmy. You know, a lot of proof. All the Greg's uh, workers are coming here to show his support to the Glorious One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Murray down. Boo. How can Jimmy not be your champ? The champ of our hearts. There and you go. Glorious. Ready for it. And now, this is an extremely complicated match for everybody involved because to win, you need to get the, the, the belt. 
So any member of the attack team can grab the belt and that will be instant win for that. But you have another four people that want to try to stop you no matter what. And here comes the champions. Yeah, in a true JFW tradition, the champions out second in a three-way match. No, and, uh, yes. But this is, no, it, you've got to be say it again, this is the like greatest tag team yes. title reign we have I'm ever seen end. in the JFW, maybe in end. all of wrestling from Cock and Ball Torture. Yep, really, really is an unbelievable run from CBT. But I mean, this is a stern test, isn't it, with the uh, TLC. No champions advantage, three-way match. They don't like ladders. This could be yeah, the end of the line. A, it's the hardest, the hardest uh, match they could, anyone could design against CBT. But CBT are used to be against all odds. <laughs> I, oh, Koki is bringing the summer uh, theme too. <laughs> Wearing a uh, speedo there, leaving barely anything to imagination. <laughs> oh, as uh, is Lemon, baby. Let's he is dressed for business, business for the pool. And Summer Slam, dress for business, means dress for party. <laughs> glorious. And thank you very much, Throwback, for staying fantastic for six glorious months. Oh, yeah. Dress for business with a lot left to prove here. They were on an absolute tear themselves, but they had the indignity of losing to Cockerball Torture. After Cockerball Torture had been beaten up backstage all night, they did manage to win their way back into this matchup, uh, courtesy of Theresa Mame's intervention. Can they go one further and truly get their dignity back tonight and become the champions? Yes, this is the kind of a uh, match that can uh, create legends or destroy tag teams. Oh. And it's all going mental now in the <laughs> ring. No matter what you were looking for, you'll find random violence. Yeah. Yeah, no holding back. They were all straight in there, weren't they? They're very, very hyped, all six competitors. For this match, also, we're going to see everything since the line. glorious ones are taking uh, control of the ring, sending everybody away. <laughs> you I know it is the ladders, thing. maybe. You need to be close to your tag team partner because if not, you can you know, get two versus one, or even three versus one, or even worst case scenario, four versus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moridam though is picked on Wanger. That's maybe a bad decision. <laughs> He's like Moridam is famous size. for picking bad decisions. <laughs> Maradam using his huge size by Goblin standards uh, against <laughs> Table Leg. Maradam is like the tiny dogs, you know, that they don't know the real size. They think they are as big as the biggest dogs. <laughs> and for Maradam, has been working very well. Yeah. Oh, he's got a oh chair. now getting a chair. Dropping the chair and again, <laughs> Wanger, Wanger surrounded the ring just to get into Maradam again. Oh, and Lemon Jimmy takes travel, down. Jimmy travel, and this is the problem. He is. It's two versus one now. Oh, dear. Well, it's one, one of each tag team in the middle of the ring, but they do seem to be working over Jimmy here. A little bit of a truce between oh, Lemon and Cocky. No, it's more over. than eating the stairs there. Oof. Oh, nice move from Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, great scoop slam on Cocky. And now he takes down Lemon as well, but there's no ladders in the ring. No chance of a victory for anybody yet. I mean, with so many people, who they are going to manage to get a ladder and climb it? Yeah, Gentlemen, we could be here for the long one. It's going to be tricky. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Wanger, grabbing the ladder. ladder. Lemon distracted. <laughs> Not even Lemon sure Table Leg needs the... Uh, and now enters. Table Leg might just be able to reach up for the belt, but he's decided he is going to use the traditional method oh, of the ladders oh, and a massive oh, drop kick. Oh. How does he even get up there? At the same time. Oh. Nice count. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Lemon is out. <laughs> Oof. No, he no. managed to counter that. He has a very strong head. <laughs> yeah. And now, Lemon oh. being all business, no, knows what he needs to do. This is the chance. This could be it. Nobody's this there. It. Everybody's distracted. Boy, Wanger needs to do something. Needs to Koki realize what is going on. And yes, Wanger also. Oh. 
No. As Fan Fox coming to the help. Oh, what a drop. And now Koki taking advantage of me one more than Bobbers. He's the mate. Jimmy, oh, actually, Jimmy what's going on? Oh. Jimmy, what's Jimmy? Jimmy? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Hitting the legs there, trying to bring down. Oh, God, no one's Koki, stopping Koki. But Koki, Koki more than managed to distract Jimmy, Jimmy and Koki. Oh, okay. is, oh, oh, it's saved it. Just in time. <laughs> oh, Koki, you have in the vent. Oh. Just into a power bomb. Wow. Good day, Cody. And yeah, Moridam, yeah, master with any kind of whip on. One girl. Creating some space. This could be it. The glorious ones are in oh. control of the ring. <laughs> Wanger doesn't want to climb, but he just wants to destroy it. by the ladders. <laughs> Is the Wanger scared of heights? <laughs> One grabbing the table. <laughs> Throws it out. It <laughs> goes back in. Throwing some furniture away. <laughs> More and now, just... come Whoa! on, demanding Oh my god! <laughs> Meanwhile, Moridan nearly kills Fast Fox, but Fast Fox just dodge away and run away like nothing happened. That is a long way to fall if you're Moridan. He might be in a bad way. Table leg's been pretty dominant, but he's getting a bit tired now and he gets caught by Lemon as a result. Nearly everybody in the ring, just Jim on the outside at the moment. Yeah, he's thinking about his BBSL finals, I think. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy having uh, flashbacks. <laughs> just catch your breath, Jim, catch your breath. Just wait for until we are five minutes in. <laughs> oh, the fox's elbow? No. He goes oh. to the table instead. Oh, take him oh, the table leg, leg. one girl. <laughs> hitting, hitting table leg one girl with a table on the leg. <laughs> this man loves irony. <laughs> oh, he's going to use the table to reach the title. I mean, anything goes. Doesn't need to be particularly a ladder. Jimmy now back into the ring, knowing what to do. No. Oh. <laughs> Good for Team Glorious here. Two on one. Fan Fox laying them both out, though. Yeah. Meanwhile, Lemon is good the outside the way versus Koki. Oh, oh, Into the table! <laughs> Glorious. A nice shoulder massage to make up for. Wanger, Wanger is absolutely <laughs> stuck. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Look at Cock and Ball Torture, though. Just stood on the outside watching. They've got a strategy going on here. Yeah, they, were, they, were, they thought, let's take out Lemon. Oh... Meanwhile, Wanger seems to be used to all the whole thing. Seems the one at home doing all the work is Mrs. Wanger. <laughs> oh, he tried oh, to kick Moridan, but missed. Moridan, what a maneuver. Dodging there and a fan folks now. Taking out Moridan too. This could be it. Wanger coming back. Dick stickers. <laughs> oh, fan Fox in bad trouble here. Whoa. Oh, that's oh, music. And now, CBT. Oh. A ball torture with the weapons. Oh, and obviously they know how to use them very well. And fun force ambush by more of them. And oh, there you no. go. The move that they uh, made CBT famous. Fantastic, oh, Mr. Fox. Has had all the children he's ever going to have. <laughs> oh, Lemon is good. Going on the table, now more than playing with fire, the ladder is in the middle of the ring. Now someone needs to grab it. They were like trying to recover, but taken down by Moradam again. Cocky just about getting to his feet. Oh! 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 And Jimmy <laughs> taking no shit here. <laughs> Green blood flies kid, everywhere. The blow. Oh, then oh, he just no. stood and waited to get hit by ladders. Nice one, Jim. Oh, no, Jim <laughs> watching Moradam too closely. <laughs> oh, where is, where is the ladder from uh, Koki? Is Koki this could be it? Oh, wow. This could be it. Team Glorious completely in control in the middle of the ring. Lemon, Lemon trying to, you know, not create any problem. No. Wow, saved Koki from a Jim bottom. He did, yeah. 
There is a lot of history and rivalry between all, oh. all these wrestlers. All of them have something <laughs> against the, the others. Team Glorious ignoring Lemon at the moment, just focusing on Cocky, maybe because he's the champion. Maybe, but now there's two, two both members of Dress of Business are in the ring. They are, and they've uh, waylaid Jim, and now there goes Table Leg to the uh, to the ladder. The ladder shot to the head, completely laying him out. I don't know this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Oh, <laughs> Fox Bottom. Fox Bottom, one girl. It's it, but Jimmy, Jimmy, she's the chance. She's the Ooh. opening. Straight she's the opening. The Cleans the ladder. Fan Fox needs to do something. Oh, who's gonna this be? This could be it. Whoever Cocky wins this jewel Jim. on top of the ladders. No, Cocky's back as well. Oh, Jimmy's gonna fall, everybody versus Jim. <laughs> oh man, trading blows left oh, and right. Goodness. Oh, Murray down. Oats them at once. Oh. oh, and now this could be it. Jimmy tried oh. to survive it to a... Oh. Where's Maradam going? <laughs> oh, oh, Jim is gone. We ain't seeing Jim again. Oh. That's it. He's absolutely gone. And <laughs> now we're wrestling for the ladder. More than number eleven. Oh, he the chair. Oh, he goes to Jim. Stop! He's already <laughs> done it. Oh, Jim! Destroy it! I already destroyed it, man. <laughs> What a brutality! And now, fun folks, oh. destroying Moridan! Oh, wow. Now, Jim's recovered. Table Jimmy, leg as Jimmy well! Jimmy by rage. And fun folks, nothing. And again. The glorious one in control of them. Table leg is cool. Doing an amazing job of clearing the ring oh, for Jim. Yes. Come on, Jim. Jim got this. We've got no champions! Is this it? Oh. Is this it? Oh. Oh. Table leg! What have you done? What have you oh, done? No longer! Oh, no. oh, they had it! They were the champions! <laughs> and Table leg like, took the ladders from under Jim. Table leg doesn't know, you know, his actual size. <laughs> he also doesn't know where the ladders should go. <laughs> yeah, it's a random place for the ladders from where. I think he just doesn't want to knock them over again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And now one girl trying to climb the ladder slowly. He's not very sure about who, what he's doing. And Fox needs to get in there. Oh, hey, yeah, one girl. The but he managed there. to grab a hold. Oh, now it's everybody on the ring. Everybody in the... Oh, he couldn't get there in time. What are they doing? What are they doing? He couldn't get there in time. Wow. Wow. And why is it done? That's a very controversial finish there. We don't know exactly yeah. why they were just looking at Wanga. Did Jim McMahon pay off Fan Fox? Uh, is what I want to know. Well, maybe. He, he is dressed for business, isn't he? Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Who knows? The Tory getting a backhander. There you go, but besides everything, what a victory for the glorious ones, what a victory for the Wanger uh, clan and Jimmy no, Fantastic. <laughs> and finally, for Darlington. Finally, defend. Jimmy Fantastic is a defend. champion. Yes, his partner did all the work. Yes, his Not champion again. won the match by himself, but Jimmy has a title, baby. <laughs> Woo! Finally. <laughs> Thank you very much, fan folks. Was doing fantastic. For there you go. It's awesome. probably the biggest sports result ever happened in Darlington. <laughs> oh baby. Well now, Flicky and Dimmy are both here. Oh. And that's who's fighting each other. Flicky versus Dimmy. What a fight! Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> And he comes in the first dice scene, in the first game, when the school's first length, one stood. He chose the path of perpetual torment. 
In his ravenous hatred, he found no dice, and with boiling blood, he scored the mornings of the CCL, seeking vengeance against the coaches who had grown him. And those that tested the bite of his dice call him the Flak Slayer. And he's coming now tonight to the GFW to absolutely annihilate Dimigi and take the title back. Oh, glorious. What an intro. Yeah, this is this is a heck of a match on paper. The serial killer versus the serial eater. <laughs> Blicky Flack, unbelievable path to the title through the likes of Peppered Biscuits Corpse. And Dimmy with his amazing win to get the championship with his incredible strategy. Will we see that kind of level of intelligence tonight? <laughs> the destroyer of men. Versus the destroyer of furniture. <laughs> yep. Will this begin? The kingdom of despair will come and will start here. Flick is up to the game, he's up to the challenge. <laughs> he's big, isn't he? He really is the big show. Holy shit. Gigantic. And now, yes, Flicky, you're always fighting yourself. <laughs> but now comes DBG, the people's champ, the future of the CCL. Not longer, not anymore. A participant with a 50% win rate in Chalice. Here comes DBG. Oh, yeah. He knows no fear, he knows no pain, he knows nothing. <laughs> Dimmy, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a cold one for the. Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy! He loves magic books in a. Uh, monster books, is it? Magic monster books, is it? In a. Uh, storybook from. <laughs> it's Dimmy G. <laughs> here we go. Just here normal, we are. It's a normal best of one fall, normal match, no count outs, everything. We need no blitz, no glamour. We just need these two in a ring going at it. That is all the excitement that any man could ever ask for. Yep. <laughs> well, anyone could say that getting into. A ring with Flicky. His extreme rules deadly match already. You don't need to add anything else. <laughs> Flicky is, is enough excitement for uh, for any pay per view. It's true. There you go, Dimi. What a legend. Lost yesterday, but only because his opponent looked like him, so he thought he was winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cocky. A tragic oh, end, you but a, a great run from CBT. Yeah, all, all great things have to come to an end, but that will go down for a very, very long time as the greatest ever tag team championship reign. Oh, and now <laughs> Flicky. Wasting no time. Flicky, flicky, flicky. Every damn time. <laughs> ah, now. Whoa. The power of Flicky. Yo. Flicky trying to find some joy here. Winning the title. The last time he felt any joy was. In 1986, with the Chernobyl disaster, because he thought everything was over. <laughs> oh, but Dimi, man without fear. On strength what of his own. Strength. Wow. That's it. We're using all the protein of all the kebabs in the region. <laughs> Uh, this is a slobber knocker so far. It's what you'd expect from uh, two uncompromising huge guys like this. Just pure power going back and forth. It really is. Brutal stuff. 
I heard Absolutely. that Dimmy had done some uh, visualization training for this. He is now imagining that Flicky Flack is a giant kebab. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Probably going to get disqualified if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Using the environment to his advantage. The secret tactic of Dimmy. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Yeah, he wants to go back to the kitchen man. as a champion. <laughs> oh. Oh, Whoa. Oh, what a counter! And now, yeah, flicking trouble. Not in a big mood. Oh, not anymore. He's done. He's done. Look, he calls him back in, but he might regret it. Oh. Massive suplex. Yeah. Oh, wow. Be careful what you wish for, especially if you're wishing for Dimmy. <laughs> Yeah, Cookie, that was going before the uh, before the time match. Oh my god, this is going not as expected for Flicky. It was Mrs. Wanger. It was a Wanger double bill tonight. <laughs> this went back and forth for a while, but are we seeing Dibby start to get on top here? I think we might be. Yeah, this is this is looking looking pretty good for Dimmy. Yeah, Dimmy feels confident. He just needs to remember to use tackle. <laughs> Not like in his uh, challenge game. Oh. But the, uh, Flicky has a massive uh, resilience. I mean. Oh, oh I'm coming back. One, two, Ooh. no. So close. That he yeah. would have killed a normal human being. Oh, oh. Uh oh, oh, Dimmy. Don't stand up, Dimmy. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's the flak hammer. Oh. oh. That could be it. We got a new champion. Two. Oh, no. oh my <laughs> God. What? <laughs> Where has he found that from? Oh, oh God. Oh, he's managed. He's hurting. He's broken. Yep. Apparently, uh, when he finishes the match, he has to take out the bin, so he really doesn't <laughs> want the match to finish. <laughs> oh! Wow. Kicked out with a flat hammer. After a two count before it as well, absolutely incredible resilience. And he My really God. is fighting back now. This is going back and forth. Oh, two count oh. there. Two count, it's slowly but surely. Flick is feeling the impacts. <laughs> oh. Jimmy struggling to counter three properly in chat. <laughs> 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 oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Jimmy. The weight coming down on Flicky Flack's head then from the top rope. Jesus. What is this? One, two. Oh, no. oh! Unbelievable! <laughs> Dimi complaining 2 plus 1. You, that was a clear 6. That was a clear 6. <laughs> wow, Dimi saying if he can't win fairly, then uh, then why not win unfairly? Taking off the uh, the ring pose cover. Oh, and... Oh! Magnificent suplex there by the Dimi. Where's he going? Dimmy busted open. I thought I saw blood then. Dimmy, uh, absolutely exhausted. Need to take something for a breathe. Flicky, waiting for him. <laughs> oh. Not the first time that Flicky's got caught out calling Dimmy oh. into the ring. Another huge move from Dimmy. Oh, oh the dirty pin! Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, Dimmy using every single trick in the book. Flick is not happy. Flick is not happy. Scotty him. Come here, boy. Come here. I'm going to oh, teach you a lesson. And he's got caught. Oh, massive oh, right hand. What a massive punch. Oh, Another. again. A more. Dimmy on his knees. I think he's going to eat some oh, apron. Oh, no, he's now he's he is. Open. Have some red sauce with your kebab, says Flicky Flag. 
Oh, Dimi managed to counter and now. Ah, he was all a mirage. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Nasty neck breaker onto the concrete with extra venom. Yep. Gotta be careful the down. Flicky needs to go back to the ring. Yeah, he can't win disqualification. Outside. Yeah, it gets him back in. Oh, Felix is always a good tactician. Don't go on a straight line, uh, Flicky. Don't go on a straight line. Ooh. And now... This could be it. Pump handle, belly to back, suplex from Flicky. Sheer power there, but he's a bit tired. He's not making the pin. Or is he getting psychotic? Is he getting ready to kill? <laughs> Dimmy could be in trouble here. It's I hope Alfie's not watching. It's out for the blood. Oh, no, he was playing possum, Dimmy. Ah, uh, great move by Dimmy. Flicky's and now made a Flicky trouble. Mistakes tonight. And now, there you go. Oh. The finisher. This is, is this it? Is this it? Oh, he's too tired. Oh, did he, he get in room? He had one too many beers. <laughs> oh. Timmy can't believe it. Here we go. It's it's the rude awakening. Boosh. Oh, oh, ironically, that's got to have sent him to sleep. Oh. My God. Only two easy... Flicky Easy for Flicky. Easy to lose. And now Flicky counters. This is incredible. Whoa. What wow. we're watching here. Oh god, that's it. That's it. That's the last slide. Taking his head off. Ooh. Oh. No! How are they kicking out still? <laughs> oh... Flicky just wants to see the light go out from the eyes of Flea of the Dimmy. He's trying to tear his head off. He's actually trying to tear his head off. Oh. Uh-oh. Surely not another flat camera. No. No. Oh, no. We've got oh, a new champion. Oh, my God. No doubt about it. Oh, DJ. Oh, Dimmy. Oh, he's Flicky. Wow. He's done it. Flicky, absolutely annihilated, but they still managed to get the title. Finally, finally. There you go. He can go tomorrow to school and show the kids who's the champ. <laughs> oh, oh, what's no. this? No, no. Casting the money in the bank. Oh, Even more Flicky shockingly, coming to the ring it. quickly. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Money in the ass case here. But Flicky's exhausted. He, he was nearly done in by Dimmy. He only just dug deep and found a way to win. There's surely, surely no way he can put away Thor as well, back to back. Oh, oh, Flicky God. champion for only 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, this could be the 28 seconds thing from... <laughs> oh, Thor was in trouble. I think Thor made a mistake. He's been Flicky angry. <laughs> Flicky going for a rest, though. Desperately needs it. He took advantage of the only chance he had, catching Thor on the way into the ring, because he's the much fresher man. Flicky, a killer of men, but not a killer of gods, as far as we're aware. Absolutely. I guess needs to make the performance of his career. Oh, and Thor putting his neck in the right position. There you go. Oh, wow. Not giving up. Where's he finding this fight from? Oh! If he can keep it outside, he'd hang on to his title. Yeah, it's a very good point. Oh, he's sniping there, Flicky. <laughs> uh, Flicky, used to adversity. Didn't even get to play champion. <laughs> Didn't even have time to post it on Instagram. <laughs> and now Thor in control. Oh. It could be it. Flicky's absolutely done it. No, immediate kick out. Wow. He really wants to hang on to this title. He's found a second wind. Look at the inhuman oh. godly power of Thor. 
How are you supposed to beat that? What is this? What is this? <laughs> My God, Clicky. The situation is so dire that we're starting to root for Flicky. I never mm -hmm. expected it. And yeah, also, this could be it. No! Wow. But here we go. Every fucking time, Flicky. Every fucking time, things are going your way. <laughs> No. Oh, oh, oh no, that's it's definitely it. You gotta feel for Flicky. He was his own favorite wrestler. <laughs> and so, casting the money in the bank becomes the new world champion. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just not possible to enjoy being champion. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, can be. Yes, can be. Yes, can have anything nice. Oh, Poor Flicky. Oh, Poor my God. Flicky. This could have been, you know, the night of his life. And now he's becoming a nightmare. <laughs> Champion for less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> That's what money in the ass will get you. Thor earned this, and he is the deserved champion. Oh, he didn't waste much time to get his chance. He just waited the perfect moment. When the Flicky was at his weakest, the only chance to be able to beat him. The challenge for Thor starts now. That title puts a bullseye on your back, and he'll have no such advantage on his first defense. Yep. Now uh, we want to see if the locker room all reacts, you know, and in this act by it, so... Yeah. Oh, boy. But we have to wait for the consequences because now we have a three versus three elimination with three quarters of quad schools versus six feet under monstrosities. <laughs> yeah, three quarters of each faction. Go on, Alex. 75%. The same win rate a space cadet would have if he wouldn't get dicey every single game. <laughs> or if he just spun into Jimmy every game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I have to say that the other day I played a game uh, with uh, versus Space and I won of a 100% victory uh, versus Space Cadet, so I decided to retire the team. <laughs> no more blood ball for the CCL system for me. <laughs> And there you have Elio, the Space How Cadet, and Jack Bull. Strategy Three not guys. quite coming off uh, last Monday. Elio had taken the initial beating as is normally the way, but uh, then he got put away before really Jack Bull even got a look in on the match. They need to tweak that tonight. Space has to work on the strategy and work out a way to kill that which is already dead. And now uh, here they come. First of them, Paper and Biscuit, the monstrosity, followed by Jedenic and Gengar. Holy what shit. three creatures of the night coming here to the ring. This could be the most dominant three main tag team that we could ever dream of. On a side note, though, Kadenik out of Chalice round one with an unbelievably beautiful pro of team, unfortunately. Elliot through. So uh, confidence may be on the side of Quad Skulls. Oh, and Elliot, yes, with an uh, absolutely epic ending of the game. Mm. The kind of one you don't want to talk about when it happens to you. Yeah, that was amazing. The no reroll one die sack into tackle zone pickup, dodge away. Score absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely disgusting. I didn't and, know uh, that Jidenik was out. Oh my god, yeah, you know, undefeated on the season. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> 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 the strategy starts the same. 
<laughs> no, people have rescued again. The code school is going for the tactic of throwing Elliot into the pain. Poor, poor Elliot, the spirit of the Quad Skulls, so often the last one surviving in Deep Rock Galactic, so often the first one to take a pounding in the JFW. Oh! <laughs> oh, but he's, he's fighting. They, they know, I mean, they, they have been training for this, this tactic for a long time, you know, they be perfectly like developing a new DACA that's like... Uh, Elliot's life doesn't matter. <laughs> and Elliot has oh. rushed to the challenge, but oh my god. Oh my god, people, what a monster. <laughs> it was like watching a puppy yap and nip at its dad, and then the dad turn around and just swipe it away, and it fly <laughs> across the room. Uh, people, the biscuit, powered by necromancy and asteroids. Oh, 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 he's not happy. Oh, oh my God. Man. Every time Elliot looks like he's getting on top, Pepper Biscuit just lays him out with one shot. Devastating. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> no. And, and the worst part is with Pepper Biscuit, you know, attacks someone else. The one coming is as slit as bad as him. <laughs> so there is no hope for Elliot. Mm. Space Cadet and Jack will better make some tags today. This is well, going to be very short. Yeah, I mean it's elimination, right? So one way or another, they're gonna they're gonna get in the ring. Well, that's that's true. It has to go oh, over 28 oh. seconds. <laughs> Space Cadet knows that. <laughs> Space Cadet knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What a bit it's poor Elliot, for God's sake. <laughs> Space may leave. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> All part of the strategy, I'm sure. Oh, I'm Gary. oh my god, finish her already. This has got to be the already. first elimination. I mean, this is like a 2500 Chaos team versus the brand new human team. <laughs> Elliot would be down for about 100 here, unless Jabbo can save it, he can. Oh, Jack will do something meanwhile, you know. Space Cadet, they are checking the news. <laughs> Calling the beer guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but then you managed to find a way. Oh, only no, briefly, unfortunately. Only oh, he didn't have he enough to keep it up. Ready to pile on. He's going to pile on. Oh. oh, 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 oh. One. Where's two. Space in there? Oh, he's oh. kicked out. Gengar. How on earth did Enjoying he Enjoying more time to punish Elliot. Unbelievable from Elliot. How oh, Elliot is able to move? What a surprise. Oh, he takes too long though. Where was Space Cadet to make the save then? <laughs> he can tag out, but he's got to be able to get there in one piece. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tag out when you're just getting fucking destroyed. Oh, he's no. doing it! Space Cadet Space got the tag by accident. <laughs> <laughs> but get him ready, get him ready to show Gengar who's the boss. Two red dice, perfectly fine. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> it's already <laughs> gone it wrong. Got wrong. <laughs> that was a frenzy opportunity. Absolute, <laughs> gone <wrong>. Absolutely dies. <laughs> Two red dice into three red dice. <laughs> Kicks him in the calf? I, I guess that's something. <laughs> not, not very much though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. And now people are whisking, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fighting back! Jawbreaker! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it was a mirage. Do the attack, Space, do the attack! <laughs> It's core. I love the spirit. I love the spirit of Space Cadet. He's getting almost nothing done, but he's really trying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, while Jelenic just enjoying the show, just existing. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, the jawbreaker oh, again. Space Cadet Tag. Jawbreaker. Tag. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, the space cadet, what a maneuver, what a maneuver, he's racing up to the challenge. There you, there you go, there you go. 
Oh man. This up. Oh, and now Jack pulls in. Jack pulls in. A new strategy. Holy moly. Actually the strongest, using the whole tag team. The strongest member of Quad School is in the ring, fresh and ready. And people have have to run away. <laughs> And he's been in the ring the most by far of six feet under, so he could be a little bit tired here, Pepper Biscuit. Oh, God. Well, well it doesn't seem very tired to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Christ. And suddenly, Jabble doesn't seem very fresh either. And now, people are stomping those chisele the abs <laughs> from Jack Bull. Oh, I'm going to get a cup of tea. I'll be right back. Oh, no, PB. And again, six feet under showing absolute dominance because only two of the wrestlers have been involved in the match. Oh, but there's the fatigue. Pepper Biscuit taking a minute. Maybe giving Jabal a chance to recover. He has. Oh, what a counter by Pepper Biscuit. Oh, and a headbutt head with the mask. The face. We don't know what that mask is made of. I think what's under the mask is probably even scarier. Yeah, better keep the mask. And now, people in this week just enjoying, walking around, the dance of victory, doing some breakdance moves there. I, I think he's there. exhausted. I think he's lost all coordination here. And again, Jack will take an advantage, but he needs to hold on to that advantage this time. People in this week were starting to do the run up for the foul, but Jack Bull jumped up. I'm doing a great job. Oh. There you go, Jack Bull. Cool he managed to make people this quick tap. Oh, he could get the tap. This could be it. This, this could, could be, be it. it. Three it's very two close. It's very close. Let's go. He's going to he's gonna, he's gonna he do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. No. Oh. Unbelievable. Okay, oh, Jack Bull doesn't care about anything, doesn't care about the referee. Gengar going for a Jack Bull. Oh, oh, ref, disqualify him. Ref, he saw it, he was looking at him. Oh, oh. face first. Doing push ups the wrong way. Oh, space has got in the ring. The space is in what the is ring, space? and then. Space with a new to hit strategy. The biscuit, but people are going to pain. Can't feel anything. Again, not sure oh. how effective space was there. Gidane came for the first Glorious. time, completely fresh no, man. And here it comes, in. here it comes. Until I'm victorious. The subscription of Hard Force. 24 months. Six beaver pregnancies. Gidane in the ring, absolutely fresh. It's the first time he steps in the ring. And wow, what Massive a move power there. Slam. Oh, oh, but Jack Jack... pops straight back up as if it's a push up. Oh, dragging the Danik to the, the corner. And now a space cadet back into the ring. Danik definitely still the fresher man of the two. Space has had a bit of a rest, though. We haven't seen Elliot in ages. Oh, oh no. well, oh well. What a hit to the back of the neck. And Space got him to counter. Wow, great technical ability from Space. Oh, and there you go. Putting all the of his size be behind that drop. For, uh, quite a school to get the advantage. To go one man up? Surely not. Just a one count. Elliot absolutely annihilated. Can barely move or talk. What is Space doing? Don't stare yeah, down yeah, the other. That's the last thing you want to do. Space's strategy is very questionable. <laughs> oh, oh wow. no. I know oh, that. I know that. Uh, Hit in the back of the neck. Oh, but here comes Space again with the counter. He is yeah. nimble. 
We have to, uh, to remember that Space Cadet is immune to brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Massive slam from uh, Gidanik, though. And all Space is in a whole lot of trouble here. He needs a save from Jackball or Elliot. Yeah, the Koala oh, Clutch. Oh, going for the sleeper hole. He's got it locked in. Come on, oh. guys. Oh, road break. Wow. Gidanik's really Space Cadet knows running. the rules. <laughs> now counters. Oh, oh what a headbutt! Beautiful the the corner. Of Come on, space, make the tag. Got to make the tag. But to who? Oh, he's, oh, he's trying to finish him. Finish. No. Oh, wow, that didn't last long. <laughs> but still, the damage is done. Jedenik is suffering. He's so in emotions. He is not not used to uh, wrestling outside of his time zone, Gudenik. Stronger competition <laughs> this time of day. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Fort for, for, for staying fantastic for 24 months. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Here comes Gengar. Probably oh, the freshest man in the entire match. Gengar. Oh. oh. What a combo, what a combo, but the space cadet gets up again. Somehow, but he's got to tag and he just isn't. Oh, God. Jesus, Gengar is absolutely vicious. Yeah, well, Gengar is back from chaos. <laughs> tag space, come on, baby. Yes, yes, <laughs> Elliot yes. back in. Elliot. He's fresh now. <laughs> Can't get the big man down, though. Oh, 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 the referee ball by the Elliot managed to come oh, there. Oh, oh, my no. God. Oh, yes, my yes, God. That's it. The Gengar is out. The decay got him. <laughs> Look at the Irish there. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious stuff from Elliot. This is it. He's oh like my his God. challenge game. He's like his challenge game. <laughs> Turn 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Unbelievable! Just leave him. He could get the count out elimination. That would be prudent. But he's uh, Elliot. He's not prudent. <laughs> there you he's go. rowdy. He's rowdy. He wants the rowdiness. Too much fight and too much pride in Elliot. Wants to do it in the ring the old-fashioned way. <laughs> what the hell? What wow. the hell? So a strength there. And now going for the top rope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, oh just no. when there was a oh, glimmer no. of hope. Oh, Elliot. Oh, Elliot. <laughs> Fighting back, DDT. Oh, he's pushing oh, the rope from Pepper Biscuit. My God, Elliot, you want to run now, Jack Bull, coming to finish in the job. <laughs> this could be it. Amazing performance from Elliot. I can't believe we haven't had a single elimination yet. Yeah, wild. Oh, Pretty much everybody ready to go now and get pinned if they get caught by the wrong maneuver at the wrong time. Yeah, the one team could fall like a house of cards. Yeah, Mind once there, one's gone, like it's one man tough. down, it's gonna be very, very difficult. Oh, is Gadanik gonna get in? He's not. Why is he not getting oh. in? Is Pepper Biscuit going to tap? He's suffering. He uh, He's got already done before. He's got to tap. No. no. Unbelievable. And now Jack will. Oh, Pepper oh. Biscuit. He managed to counter. He needs to do the attack. He oh, needs Jack to do the attack. Back. Oh, the strength of Pepper Biscuit. The speed of Jack Ball. Who is going to come out on top? It's back and forth. Wow. Wow. Oh. Gengar. Oh, Gengar's there again. Gengar getting ready Gengar's to do there something. Again. Referee. Oh. Oh, my <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gengar. <laughs> Referee. <laughs> and now Elliot back into the ring. He needs to finish this. Come on, Elliot. Come on, Elliot. Do it. <laughs> Oh, he's got his finisher ready. Do it for Rick. Oh, it's a self rock bottom into submission. Oh, oh my God. Biscuit, it was too strong still. 
Too much power, yeah. Incredible for Pepper Biscuit after all the uh, the damage he's taken as well. And look at this! <laughs> like he's an Olympian. Well, of course, oh, steroids. Elliot. Steroids banned in the Olympics, not in the JFW. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Let's hope oh, no. it works. Keen Ram is powered by necromancy and steroids. Space, the only man standing in the quad skulls right now. Oh, what a fight. What a show. I've been putting quite the schools in this match. It is a heroic effort so far. Look at Elliot yes. fighting back. You can see the exhaustion behind every one of those hits, but he still digs deep and finds it, and he's getting psyched up. <laughs> this is a proper 80s action movie soundtrack <laughs> material. Ooh. And now, Gengar. Gets into the ring. Oh, oh. bastard! Oh, but Elliot. Oh, but Elliot managed to dodge. He's counters. He's got angry. <laughs> he sees the blood and he sees red. <laughs> oh. And he pops up again, but into a massive pig boo. Poor Elliot. He's so spirited, <laughs> but it's not doing him any good. Oh my God! No, both the main event follows this. It is. Night Demon, the extra arms belt champion versus a mystery opponent. Who could it possibly be? It's not be? medically clear to wrestle, but it's coming back to the GFW. Yep. But in the meantime, my God, my God, Elliot. He's going to need a save here from his uh, teammates, I feel, and they're not the most trustworthy at making it. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, oh my again, goodness. Piling on again. Washed like a bug. Why isn't he pinning him? There we go. Space is in. Space is in, yeah. Too oh. slow. Oh, now complete madness here. Elliot is out. Probably on his way to the hospital. <laughs> Probably. And Gdanik has completely laid out space outside as well. So even so if Jebel gets a pin here, surely there's no hope. He can't take on three on one. <laughs> The old ass to face. <laughs> oh, there you go. One. No, not even two. My God. Now Jack Bull's got to hang in somehow, isn't he? And it's going to be tough. He needs to take out quickly. No one in his corner to help him. Is already an epic effort. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> And now, Paper Biscuit. Good effort, Jumble. Oh. oh, God. Sleep well, sweet prince. Absolutely brutal here. Oh, finish him, guys. He's already dead. This is it. Space back into the Space ring. Is back. Space is back. Mm. Space see. coming in. And Jelani going for a space. Wait, space went back outside. Space ran back off. He saw Jelani coming. And he ran away onto the apron. Okay, he saw it in the space. This is it. This is it. Come on, space. It's all on space, Cadet. You can do it. Three on one. I don't know what, but you can do something, Space Cadet. Oh, you can get your head kicked off. Come on, Space Cadet, it's time to become a Space Captain. Oh, oh no. bust it open. At least it's over Two. quick. No! Oh, oh, no! Space. Just stay down, Come buddy. Come on, Space, at least Just eliminate one of the opposing team. It's a three-on-one <laughs> handicap match, for goodness sake. Oh, God, there's the pylon. Oh. Oh, oh it's got to be it. And that's it. Oh, Six yeah. feet down under gets an absolutely <laughs> annihilation victory versus three quarters of quad schools. Oh, what a performance. Fair, it was a, what a performance. It was a good match for a while, and the real big turning point was Space came in to make the save for Elliot, and Gdanik intercepted him. 
and took him out. And Elliot was then eliminated. And from there on, three on two, there was no coming back for the quad skulls. Yeah. There well, you go. There was only three of them. Because Rick, of course, injured in that big match. But so now, now, here is the extra arms, the mystery wrestler that everybody has been expecting versus Night Demon. Who could the it leader be? Of I six am feet absolutely under. on the edge of my seat. Who's going to be? I mean, there are many, many, many chances of many of us hoping to see someone. Oh my god. No. No. I can't believe this. Finally. Ah, uh, it's happening, lads. It's happening. <laughs> it's Tony's so back. Funny. He's back <laughs> looking better than ever. <laughs> what wow. A save. What incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like a Greek god <laughs> and his majestic return. Tony is back. We have waited so long and hard for this moment. Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh. Night Demon is in big trouble here. This could be the end of the Night Demon fighter <laughs> run. I mean, look at Tony move. What a speed, what power. He hasn't lost a step, has he? He's been retired for so long. But, wow, he's come back. And he looks like he hasn't lost anything. Incredible. Incredible, keeping it at his top of his game. As good as ever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely stunning. Trim as anything. Athletic as a bunny. Just amazing. Night Demon, yeah. Could be in a lot of trouble. He's been absolutely dominant up till now. This could be the turning table for Night Demon. Exactly. I mean, Night Demon is the Lord of Death. But Tony is so close to death that they are friends. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. Well, that was it. We were saying who can possibly beat Night Demon. Well, if anyone can, it's Tony it Place Tony. Burley, isn't it? What a legend. Is it Tony Place Burley? It's in the name. It's in the name. It's been a long time, but yeah, he was so dominant at one point in the, in the JFW. Absolutely untouchable. And yeah, if we see the full power of Tony tonight, Night Demon's in a really bad way. Yeah, I have to say, this is one of the very few times where the Final Demon is not the favorite. I mean, just look at Tony, what a monster. Yeah. What a man. The peak of physical perfection, Tony plays poorly. Leonardo da Vinci will shed a tear of pride if he was allowed to draw Tony plays poorly. Yeah. Put that boat in the 16th chapel. Put that boat in the 16th chapel. There you go, slowly but surely. <laughs> Introducing the champion from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 320 pounds. He is the undisputed champion. Fight! Hey, Demon. As you can see, he's serious. He knows this is the big deal. This is the real challenge. He is absolutely worried. He's nervous. I mean, against a machine like Tony Blaisburle. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, Night Demon doesn't seem to have his normal cocksureness in the corner there. He doesn't. Definitely, uh, yeah, a li little bit concerned, I feel. The aura coming off him right now. It's landing on him now. It's landing on him now. And there you go. Oh, God. Sneak it for a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, oh. no ring rust. Straight in charge. There you go, uh, Tony using his... Uh, oh, Oof. well, that's a little misstep there, nothing relevant. Tony will be back soon. Just a lucky blow by Night oh. Demon. Yeah, there and we there go. go. Tony Tony right back there. on oh. top, as expected. Again, his knee giving way slightly. I, I hope that's okay. Might be catching the skulls on the necklace of Night Demon with those knee, go uh, knee shots to the chest. Oh, yep, no. if he did nothing, something Tony knows is how to hit the skulls. Skulls. No. Oh. 
What the hell is going on here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tony just taking a moment to, to warm up into this match. I'm sure we're going to see his best. Yes. Any second yes. now. Yeah, learning the moves of Nate Demon to know how to counter them. There we go. Power's out at one. Here we go. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Nate Demon absolutely demoralized it after the, the quick uh, count. One thing we know about Tony, he never gives up. Well, except when he does. He, he gives up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. That power oh. arm, that close line. Baby. Hitting the back of an A Demon. Look at him <laughs> glide around the ring like a plim plum plus weight. There the you go. Getting out. Heavyweight. Taking his time. No problem at all. Oh. Taking a break outside, <laughs> luring Night Demon outside. You see the mist, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough for Night Demon against the uh, the power and skill and agility of Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lucky blow by Night Demon! <laughs> Probably a misclick. Probably. Now, Tony. Oh, oh tried Tony. to sit up and failed. <laughs> Tony aiming to break the back of Night Demon, putting all his weight there. S sit up exhausting, so hard, it's understandable. Exhausting uh, Night Demon. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Wow. The submission maneuver. Oh, but the nimbleness no of Tony. Tony to get there out, is no chance. No submission in Tony. Lovely DDT. And here we go. Tony's here goes, pulling here the comes end. the beginning of the Tony age. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, there you go. Absolute dominance. Oh, here we go, the Luthers press. Now we're talking. Tony absolutely <laughs> taking it tonight, Demon. He's in a bad way. Ooh. Oh. Tony will have to work a little more, but that's it, just a little more. Oh, here we go. Stunner! No! no. Oh, oh. Somehow, Night Demon managed to counter that only made Tony angrier. Only temporarily, though. <laughs> Tony wants to Run finish this quickly on. and go back to the buffet. <laughs> he wants to get back to his boat. <laughs> those shrimp cocktails, does not eat themselves? <laughs> and now Tony getting the love of millions of viewers of the GFW showing off that perfect physique already trending in all social media Tony's back Tony's back is broken <laughs> right, Demon trying his best oh. here just trying to get a lucky shot Some nice maneuvers, but I just don't think it's going to be enough against Tony. I am starting to have some doubts here, but in Tony we trust. <laughs> Night Demon is looking very impressive, isn't he? It's got to be said. Yes, he's trying to do all his regular moves, but Tony just taking a chilling relax there, you know, taking a quick nap. There we go, the agile roll away into massive knee. <laughs> here we go, this is the Tony we know and love. Oh, we've seen that in matches before. Softening him up for the finish. Tony, you see his decades of experience in the GFW. Oh, wow. That could be it. This is it, it I think. Be. One, two, two. No. no. Oh, two and a half. Oh, wow. Very lucky. Night Demo was lucky there. Here we go. Now it's the stunner time. Stunner oh, into three. Stunner. Oh, baby. GG. Stunner. Stunner. There champion. you go. GG. Tony's home. Game Woo. over, Night Demon. Go back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. No. Wow. No. Oh, my God. I thought it was wow. going to be Stunner Slam then. Uh. Oh, oh.
Oh, again. Oh, but they didn't manage to counter. Oh, wow. Superlex to counter. One, two. No. <laughs> Never any doubt that Tony was just uh, biding his time on that one. Oh, man, this move. Ah, oh, no, my God. Oh, wow. Great move by Night Demon. Oh, Night Demon has risen to the challenge, man, hasn't he? This is. Uh, yes, he, yes, he has have done everything right here. But it's he's against a beast, a machine like Tony. Feels like pissing like... into the wind a little, but he's certainly giving it his all. Yeah, oh, the zombie! Like Go for the zombie! Oh, there you go. We know he's already. Is this it? He's got a power Is this out. it? He does. No. For fuck's sake, Tony, <laughs> stop playing shit. <laughs> <laughs> and here he comes, baby. Here he comes. There you go. There you go. Going it's as expected. Never Everything happened. part of the plan. Tony fights like Rocky done. and Rambo together. At least the ages together. <laughs> Oh, oh a night demon out of desperation. Oh. oh man. Is it gonna be gonna a, go for a, a winning Just by a whole this question? That would make sense. Oh no, night demon. No, Needs to react. Is he scared to go back into the ring? <laughs> He's him. absolutely terrified. I wouldn't want to face Tony. <laughs> oh, and now. Oh, boy, what a move. What a move by Nate Demon. But it's still nothing. Nothing Tony going to stop Tony. Up, though. Look at that. Look at the oh, recovery good from for Tony. The <laughs> this is where the training went in for moments like this. That's it, the this second This is why he got into such incredible shape. Not an ounce of fat on him. Yeah, in incredible, isn't it, really? Like, you know, and that's obviously why he wasn't medically cleared to wrestle. He spent so long outside the ring. He's been retired, but what shape he's come back in. Has not, yes. He hasn't lost his um, step, he? He's training, you know, hard after a happy hour, getting another happy hour. <laughs> Having to go 100% every single day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a neck crank from Night Demon. I'm not sure it's really going to get him anywhere in the long run, though. Probably going to join the well and powering out. There we go. And Tony coming back with a vengeance. Punching on the seat. Knee on the ground. Oh, wow. oh. Night Demon on the ground. He's done. Down. He's done. Tony just needs to finish this. No. Oh, he missed! Oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, that was a big mistake. mistake. Oh my god! Tony missed. Lucky I'm shot by Night rust. Demon. Two, These two three. No. And Night Demon does it. Unbelievable! No. I, I, I can believe that uh, Tony lost there. It's uh, like the impossible. Said, I like Tony. unbelievable. Tony shit. So who's gonna let? Who's left to try to stop Night Demon's kingdom of terror? All the training and dieting for nothing. Oh man. Wow, Tony, look at it, he can't believe it. He can't believe it. They're doing, you know, working so hard, coming back out to the return for this. He feels robbed, he feels robbed. It was his mistake, not Night Demon's uh, success. Well, I don't think Night Demon can believe it, he's done the impossible. Yeah, he dispatched the greatest of all time. Unbelievable. And uh, yeah, that's it. That is it for SummerSlam. Um, that was his help. It's over. We have a new legends, new champions, and new monsters coming for you in the GFW. Yes. And thank you very much, Squiggle the Stick, for the bits. And thank you so much, Faimir and Rick, for the commentary. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, guys. As always, a pleasure. Brilliant. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.